Hello and thank you for joining or watching our YouTube channel again. Uh, this is Yosunita Farm, and uh, Yosunita Farm is is a cassava farm located in Agumbiade village along Ibadanabekuta road. Today I want to talk about the various cassava growth stage and the relevant herbicide. I'm actually doing this video in response to another video I saw on YouTube of a lady um, sharing her experience that she lost most of her cassava she planted due to wrong herbicide application. So I will just take us through the various stages and the kind of um, herbicide you should use. The first stage in the life of your cassava is, or your cassava process is the pre-planting. The pre-planting refers to the stage before you actually uh, plant your stem into the soil. So the kind of activities you carry out at that stage is called pre-planting activities. And for herbicide application, what you do at that stage, your, your objective is to do 100% eradication of the plants, of anything green on the land, even including your cassava. You want to eradicate it 100%. And so this stage is very important because if you don't eradicate those stubborn weeds at this stage, they are going to become a problem to you at the later stage. <clears throat> because the way this pre-planting herbicide work is such that it kills the plant to the root. It kills the plant completely. And that's the difference between pre-planting and post-emergence herbicide. And I will talk about post-emergence herbicide at a later part of this presentation. So you want to use good pre-planting herbicide and you want to do an effective pre-planting um, herbicide application to ensure that all stubborn weeds are killed. They are or control at this stage so that they don't give you problem at the later stage. If you don't control your grasses and those perennial weeds now, at this stage, pre-planting before you plant the stem, you will struggle to be able to control them later because they are usually very difficult to control. So you have to um, do apply your pre-planting herbicide before you start your, maybe your ridge making or before you plant. That's when you apply the pre-planting herbicide. Common pre-planting herbicide, in fact, the only one I know is glyphosate products. An example of glyphosate product we have in the market include things like wheat feed, weed off, sarusate, fossop. Once you get to any agrochemical shop, just tell them you want to buy any glyphosate, glyphosate product. It's a very popular product in the market space. Very popular and is used for pre-planting app application. If you are plant, apply it after you've planted, it will also kill your plant. So you must so apply it after you have planted. It is for what? Pre-planting, before you plant your crop. I think the mistake the lady in question made was applying a glyphosate after she has planted a cassava. It will just kill everything. So you use this before you plant. The next one is, uh, the next stage is a planting stage. That is immediately you plant your stem, the 48 hours between where you plant your stem, after where you plant your stem is considered as the planting stage of your plant. What do we try to do at this point? At this point, you want to control any wheat seedlings, any wheat seed that is about to germinate or just started germinating, you want to control it at that point. And what the um, herbicide does at this point is to prevent it from germinating further or even inhibit any wheat seed that is in the soil from germinating. The difference between this and the pre-planting is that pre-planting will only work on already growing plants. Pre-planting herbicide can only kill already growing plants. It does not kill the seed or seedling or germinating seedlings. It cannot kill it because pre-planting herbicide is absorbed through the leaf surface. It's only through the leaves that the chemical go into the plant. So when your seed is just about to grow, there is no way the chemical can go into that plant. So you apply pre-planting herbicide immediately. I mean, you apply post, no, sorry. You apply pre-emergence herbicide immediately after you plant, before your own plant also starts growing. You are advised to apply the pre-emergence herbicide within 48 hours after planting so that it also does not affect your crop. So you apply it at that point where you just planted within 48 hours to control any growing seed. Common pre-emergence herbicides are antrazine. Atrazine is a powder and you can just apply it, put it into your nerve sprayer 
and shake, then spray. Immediately you plant your cassava within 48 hours. That way, it will help you to suppress any seed that might be about to germinate and grow and prevent it from taking over the farm quickly. Example of the pre-emergent herbicides are atrazine, lagoon, uh, there are also some other products, premestra. So these are possible pre-emergence herbicides you can buy. If you get to the if you get to a popular herbicide shop, they know pre-emergence herbicide. If you go to where those one by the streets, they might not understand pre-emergence because those ones just sell anything. They don't even know the difference between the chemicals they sell. They know all of them key plants. They don't know when is the right stage to apply it. But if you go to a good um, um, agricultural shop, they will differentiate it for you. So you use this when you just plant within 48 hours. Note, within 48 hours. Then the next one is the post-emergence herbicide. Your post-emergence herbicide is applied to eradicate growing, to eradicate weeds within the growing cassava plant. You've already planted, your cassava has started plant, uh, growing, so you apply post-emergence to eradicate whatever weed you may have. Uh, before I finish on this post-emergence, please kindly like and follow us so that you can always uh, benefit from this kind of content and you can also encourage us to uh, produce more of this kind of content. So you apply post-emergence where your cassava has started growing. Um, as much as possible, if you have done your stage one, pre-planting and planting correctly, you will not need to apply uh, post-emergence herbicide until like week, week 10 of you planting. Between week 8 and 12 after planting, that's when you typically need to apply post-emergence herbicide. But if you didn't do it very well, if you didn't uh, apply your pre-planting herbicide and planting and uh, pre-emergence herbicide properly, you might need to apply this early. Uh, sometimes when we have this early weed infestation, because your your plant is also very is not strong yet, the cassava is still very tender. They are just growing. We just resort to use uh, oh, we use manual method because if we also spray post emergence herbicide when the plant is very early, it can also kill the plant. How does this post emergence work? Post emergence herbicides work by contact. They are called contact herbicide. They only affect the plant that they touch, which means if your cassava is very young and um, the chemicals should touch them, their leaves will also wither. They will dry up. So you don't use them, or when you need to use them when they are very young, you need to be careful. But I experienced a lot of instances where we gave people to spray this for the emergence herbicide. Is they end up spraying our cassava and kill the cassava, and that's why in our farm, any cassava that is less than um, three months, we are not allowed, we don't allow them to use post emergence herbicide. They need to use O to do it. But once it's more than three months, they are free to use post emergence herbicide. So, when applying post emergence herbicide, you also protect the nozzle so that the spray does not touch your plant. That you call it a sheet. You put a sheet in your nozzle so that it sheet away the chemical from spraying the cassava. So, you lower your hand below your growing cassava and gradually and gently spray the weed. With the abyss with the abyssal, with the post-emergence abyssal. Remember, use post-emergence abyssal to eradicate weed within growing cassava. So you spray it, spray it on those weeds gently. And also at that stage, you also expect that your cassava wood stem is also becoming a, a bit woody. So that even if it touches it, it does not kill the plant. As far as your cassava stem is brownish in color, the chemical can no longer kill it. So you apply it on those weeds. Common example, contact herbicide. In fact, all of them are contact herbicide. All the ones we use as post-emergence are contact herbicide, meaning that they only kill the plant they touch. Example is glufosinate ammonium. That's the, uh, the, the chemical name. And paracord. Um, finally, today, paracord is banned in use in Nigeria. It's, banned, it's getting banned because a carcinogenous so people are discouraging people from using paracord globally. Nigeria has banned it, but I know Ghana has not. They still use it in Ghana, they still use it in Cameroon, but you cannot import paracord to Nigeria again. So any paracord you see around is either is smuggled through Nigerian border or is an old stock. But the common one we are now using is glufosinate ammonium. 
and come example of this glyphosate ammonium product in the market is dragon we use dragon on our farm i will find it very good um in in usage and how is dragon different from glyphosate the pre-planting is that when dragon kill plant it only kill the top it only keep from the stem up it does not kill to the root it only kills the part it touches any part it doesn't touch will not die it will not kill it so if we spray it on grasses the grass will, will dry up from up to the root and in a few days the root will grow back again and that's why i was saying at the pre-planting stage you need to do efficient and effective control because the pre-planting herbicide kills everything but you cannot use it within the growing cassava stem for post-emergence herbicide even when the chemical touches your uh, cassava the cassava will still grow back in a few days it's only the growth will be uh, will slow down so you can use that um i believe you've gained something you've learned something please remember to like and follow us our youtube channel and we'll appreciate you so that we can continue to produce this kind of video thank you for very much